rated R. Starts Friday, April 5th at a theater near you. There's Sally. She's writing the history of Audible. There's Sandy, who's writing a book on TV comedy. And Kathy's doing an article on the love lives of men over the age of 95. Short article. <laughs> Why is George Burns making a list? Because he's joining friends and family from MCI. Now when he calls other MCI customers on his list, he saves an extra 20%. An extra 20% over the regular MCI savings. All right. George Thorogood will be at the uh, Meadowlands in uh, New Jersey on April 1st. By the way, the name of his new album is Boogie People. <laughs> what was that? Boogie People. Boogie, boogie People. Yeah, just... Just go into the store and ask for George's new album. <laughs> On March 15th, our uh, next guest braved a blinding Alaskan blizzard to become the first five-time winner of the Iditarod Trail dog sled race. Oh, my God. Look at this. Man, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Rick Swenson. Rick, come on out and stand up. Hey, Rick, how are you? What do you got? Nice to see you. Congratulations. Come on over here. Now, is, is this one of your uh, team dogs? This, this is one of my leaders. Who is this? Uh, her name is Polo. Polo. Hi, Polo. How are you, baby? Hi, sweetheart. Hi. Hi, honey. Give me a, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Oh. <laughs> now, did, she, did she make the trip with you? She's been in my team the last two years. Mm -hmm. Do and they enjoy this kind of stuff? That's what they're born, raised, bred, and trained uh -huh. for. And, and it's, it's hard on their paws, isn't it? Yes, that's, that's uh, one of the main things that we have to spend a lot of time taking care of is their feet. And, and is this the, the leader of the team? This is one of my leaders. And, and what characteristics do you look for in a leader? Well, they have to be fast. They have to be intelligent. Is this a fast dog? She's real fast. And a smart dog? Real, too smart. Uh -huh. <laughs> and she, uh, uh, she likes to sit in the chair. She rode in the seat in the limousine coming over here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and and how, many, how many races has she been in? You say she's... Uh, she's uh, only been in two I did around that, yeah. And did she finish this one? No, she didn't. She uh, made it to the halfway point. And I use this dog mainly because she's such an excellent leader. Uh -huh. I use her as a starting leader. I use her and this other dog, an 11-year-old dog. Right. Now, and could this dog have gone the distance? She lost interest, okay? Now, what, what does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? I, it's, I, she can't talk, so I can't tell you exactly. Uh -huh. but, but, but how do you know she lost interest? When they quit pulling. Oh, really? <laughs> But now, now could, could that be, does that mean that this dog, uh, in, in common uh, sporting vernacular, uh, might not have the kind of heart you'd want for an athlete to have, you know? Just well, kind of give up? Uh, are you a quitter? Are you, are you a sissy? Are you a little sissy? I think maybe the conditions got a little bit too tough for her. She is, she, uh, she's the type of dog I have to baby. We've got blankets for these dogs, and they sleep on straw. They have, to, have to look after their paws right, and so we, forth? We put little booties on their feet, and they've and got blankets that they sleep in. And, and there they are, sleep on straw. There are regular medical uh, checkups and so forth? At the check, yeah. Yeah. So this, on your own chair here. Now, when, when we were, what, what is the total mileage of this race that you have to It's about 1,165 miles. Wow. Now, how many times have you won this? Five times. So you're the all-time leading winner. I'm the all-time top dog. Now, <laughs> and then Susan Butcher, who has won it four, four, times. four times, has also been on the program. Now, is in, in reading and listening to the coverage of the end of the race, you said something that was, I think, uh, misconstrued or, or it sounded sort of insulting to her is that the i didn't mean it as an didn't insult didn't mean it as an insult no what did you Sue say and I are actually very good friends but we are both very fierce competitors uh -huh. and uh, we both we both had won four races we both really wanted to win this fifth race she right. wanted to win it so that she could take some time off and have a family sure. and i wanted to uh win it just to keep her in the sport i didn't i didn't want to see her retire yet yeah so what do you what where do you live Outside of Fairbanks. Uh -huh. And Fairbanks what, do you, what do you do with your dogs the rest of the year? <laughs> Hold on. Uh, we, tra we train these dogs about... <laughs> the dog has developed other interests. We train these dogs about 10 months a year. You know, this dog seems like such a little baby. 
<laughs> now, she in, in, but in harness, this is somebody you want on your team. Oh, right? she's really fast. She's very intelligent. She, I mean, you can put 20 dogs behind her and she'll never miss a corner. Uh -huh. Which is, you know, that's a lot of power, and, and they're a long ways in front of you. Now, is there a leadership order in, on a dog team? Is there right. a, like a pecking order? Do dogs yeah. know which one is the leader? Yeah, they they do know. They know who the leaders are, and different leaders are useful for different things. They inspire the uh -huh. dogs. Some of them are very inspirational. You ever have trouble with fights? Do the dogs ever uh, turn on one another? No, we don't allow any sort of uh, negative interaction. <laughs> that's going to keep everything on a positive right. note. Right. <laughs> Uh, hello, 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 hello. It's an awfully sweet animal. Uh, so anyway, I was, uh, the rest of your year, what do you do? Uh, we train from the 1st of August until the middle of May, mm -hmm. and then the dogs get two and a half months off. This dog smells like frozen fish. What have you been eating? <laughs> frozen fish. There you go. Uh, so you'll be competing next year again then, huh? Yes, I'll be, okay. be racing again Good enough. Next year. Thank you very much, Rick. Pleasure to have you here. And I, and nice to see you, Polo, you little baby. You know, you know, you know, you know. Welcome to the Miller Lite 3 billion celebration, and here's your host, John Madden. We're America's tax team. Put us to work for you. Hello, my name is Penn, and this is my partner, Teller. We're Penn and Teller. You may have seen us on Letterman, Saturday Night Live, Public TV, MTV, and lots of other nothing little television shows. Yeah, you may think you've seen us, but we've got a live show, a very live Broadway show that the New York Times raved about. But don't be snowed by that. Come see us, because there's one thing we can do live that we can never do on TV. We can make mistakes. Make no mistake. It's Penn and Teller's Refrigerator Tour at the Eugene O'Neill Theater. Call 212-246-0102 today. Yes, yeah, she's top dog, sure, no doubt about that. Uh, what are we done? Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've been ordered off the airwaves. Good night, everybody. Monday, Saturday Night Live goes five times. The Super Bassomatic 76. With all of your favorite stars. Hi, I'm Bowie. And guest hosts together in one big special, featuring the funniest commercial takeoff from the past 16 years. New shimmers of floor wax and a dessert topic. Saturday Night Live goes commercial at 8, 7 Central on NBC Monday. Nelson DeMille. Available in paperback from Warner Books. Who can you trust these days to take care of your car when it starts shaking? Now